Hello, it's Colette from the Sacred Rose Temple. I am wanting to really talk about this current frequency and energy we're in and the compression we've got before tonight's uh, supermoon. There has been a couple of weeks of intensity. I've used that word about 100 times already in 2024. But I really want to share about that intensity and what it's trying to do to us a lot of us, I shared a post from a really great astrologer and uh, speaking on the intensity of the mind stuff that's going on. And by that, I mean how we're very, very up in these higher energy centers and, and very much in our minds. And I share this quite a lot in my teachings and in my classes, just about us all being so heavily in our heads very disconnected from intuition and instinct and soul and spirit and being more kind of always in that thinking, thinking, thinking mode. And I also know that the thinking realm for me is part of psychology, the, the psychological aspect of mind, body, spirit, soul. And that mind, that psychology, understanding that there is a vast collective unconscious that many of us are unaware of. I like to describe it like the eye cloud. It's kind of where all the information of the world, past, present and future is held and the stuff we're very much unaware of. Our mind can only hold so much consciousness and the unconscious is the biggest part of the mind and the biggest part of our understanding or misunderstanding of the world. And when we start to do inner work on ourselves, it's the unconscious that we're tapping into. It's that part of us that we are don't really know what not really aware of that begins to come through and we can kind of understand ourselves a little bit better, a little bit more. We couldn't have all of the unconscious matter flood through because we'd implode or split in our personality. And so it's all about trying to understand that what's trying to happen to our minds is an opening it's trying to show us you're in these loops of thought all the time what are the dysfunctional thoughts that are coming up for you at the moment what wounds are being triggered by these thoughts so I'm generally not a heady person not anymore I used to be very heady very you know in my intellect and in my intelligence and working with the mind a lot and I studied yoga for many years which brought me to the somatic and to the body and I became very rooted in the body thank god and in my emotional self and began to realize what life had been like how to touch with my physical body with my emotions and my feeling with my intuition with my instincts and how that severed me from a lot of life experience and, and my ability to negotiate life on a much better level. And so as I've, over the last few weeks, become very heady, I've noticed that there's certain loops I'm, I'm stuck in, in thinking there's quite a lot of like self bad talk going on and uh, things from the childhood that are coming up for healing that are showing themselves to me. There are certain things in my mind that are bringing up triggers in my body that are affecting my nervous system and regulation. And that these thoughts are actually thoughts that have always been silently there for me, but really have made the way to the forefront to be made conscious so that I can heal them. And during this time, I've also developed, a, I've got a raised lymph node at the back of the ear, which is really painful. I've been really poorly this weekend, trying over, you know, a few days to try to self-heal using my own, you know, medicine for antibiotic and started to feel better today. The I use high dose oregano and, and that's kicked in today and I'm starting to feel better. But I need to get to the root cause of this lymphatic system and the lymphatic system is all about like toxins and self-regulation and clearing out what is not good for us, what is not useful to us. And I believe there's some toxic thoughts up there that have been trying to bring themselves to the forefront so that I can change them and heal them. I believe that there's this whole strange timeline opens up between past and the present and it's trying to negotiate our futures. So 
all our past, all our childhood, all the ways in which we have been imprinted and traumatized and hurt. They're trying to come up quite intensely because they really need eradicating. This is a time where we're being asked to step into a higher spec of ourselves, a really heightened place of uh, spirituality and soul connection. <clears throat> and that soul connection, the way that our spirit feeds back to soul, the way that the spirit's navigating life and all that's spiritual and all that really is soul food is is working over time. It's trying to bring us the food. But if we're so blocked with what's toxic, if we're so blocked with things that are taking our energy, that are not feeding our soul, then we're not progressing and the thing about this time, it's really asking us, how do we change this? How do I change these patterns? What is coming up in me? What's it asking for me to be that I haven't been before? How have all, how the old me behave? And how might the, the new me that I would like to be behave in this? So for me, it's about being a bit more caring and loving and holding deeper space while not giving myself away but, and by not uh, allowing all my energy to be dispersed to others, but holding my own energy in my own container and being loving and supporting at the same time. And I'm really feeling that coming in for me now on how I you know, navigate being the new Colette. And so I wanted to ask you that, you know, as we come into what the world's calling for is a new version of you and a new edition, an upgraded edition, because it's what's trying to happen to us all. What does that look like? What does upgraded you look like? How does she behave? How does she navigate in life? How does she behave towards other? What's her role in her community? What's her role in her work and her job? And is she doing what she loves? But ultimately, are you taking care of yourself? Like self illness, disease, all of those things come up because there's been a repression of something. What is it that's been repressed? What is it that needs healing? Because the illness is showing it needs healing and it wants to move out of the body and how do you actually face that face it admit it bring it up and say I know what you are and I'm not going to run away from you or repress you I'm going to hit you head on and I'm going to deal with you and I'm going to take care of myself love myself put my energy back to me know that I can heal and that my body's miraculous at healing if I give it the environment and the things it needs to heal so that was kind of the main thing that I wanted to share about what we're going through. I also really wanted to share about the, the need to, to retreat, the need to take time for yourself and just ensuring that there is some time in the day that you are taking care of yourself. You know, basic things like eating properly and you know, having a bath, it's basic self-care. But what about something bigger? What about giving yourself an hour of meditation? What about binaural beat time to like activate heal? What about taking yourself to a yoga class? What about going to that retreat or that half day spa? What, what about those things that are just a bigger gesture to your soul, to your spirit, to your physical body and mind? that say, I love you, I care for you, and you're worth it. Because I think there's a little bit of self-neglect going on in the push and pull of all that is uh, trying to show itself to us. So I hope this is helpful. And I really just want to say, you know, that we're all really worth it. We are all uh, a divine spark. And, and, and that was something that came through my own meditation this morning, that there is within us all this divine spark, like the creator God, the beloved, 
implanted all of our souls with this divine spark, the essence, the creator itself. And if we were to activate that, what would that feel like in us? I'm actually going to put this into a meditation and send it to everybody in my subscription list. So just if you are not on my email list, uh, my email list is on my website, www.templedelarose.com, and you will see join the community. If you put your name there, you'll be on my emailing list, and I will send out the meditation for the Divine Spark free of charge to you all as a self-care gift. So sending you all much love and care during this significant time. As the super moon comes tonight, make sure you've just taken yourself in a really quiet space, put some beautiful music on, light a candle, and just remember that you are a child of God, a divine spark, and the breath of the beloved. Bye for now.